So before we devour this like really quickly because we have to go, this guy is ready to eat. You ready to eat, boo boo? Yes. Yes. I just wanted to sh tell, show y'all and tell y'all what we are eating. So this is a vegetarian meal. So the name of this recipe is um, slow cooker Afri African peanut stew. It's really good. It's, you put it in the slow cooker so it's really easy. I'll leave the recipe down low. We're going to eat so we can get out the door and be on time. Okay. So we made it to the chiropractic office. Ahmad is here. He made it. And Nassim just wants to walk around, bang on the chair. Who knows if he'll pay attention or just roam the place. But Yeah, I'm sure. Or he'll just go out. <laughs> That's pretty close. <laughs> Interesting. He just wants to touch it off. <laughs> so we're gonna go through this. I guess this is gonna be like an informational type of session. But after we're done, we'll let you know about it. Let you know about um, what we're gonna do from here. And also um, go over our assessments because I didn't do that yet. It's not chiropractic is not the fix all, but if an underlying cause is subluxation, then then we can help. What are some of the, uh, the most common symptoms that you're gonna see when you're coming in with? Because the chiropractor didn't tell me the whole story, and my digestion got better when I was a kid, and then I stopped getting adjusted after my pain. So we finished our like informational session, which is what you just seen, um, just basically educating on a educating us about chiropractic care and how it has much more to do with than just fixing the pain which is helpful for me because i have a lot of issues and i don't like taking medicine so this is totally up my alley and not take medicine I just want. and he is all about the medicine but for me i feel like i want my body to just which i've said this even you know when we first met but like, I want my body to just do what it's supposed to do. And I feel like taking too much medicine just, it interferes with my body knowing what to do. Like, that's just how I feel. Oh, it does. But um, you just care about taking the pain away. Yeah, or symptoms. Right there, he just wants to take It's probably not the best. Away. I should probably slow down and take the medicine. What is that? Who knows? Put that down. Stop. He's like in the garbage can. <laughs> He's like, to get that. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. You got the pen. That's what it started with. I mean, you threw it in the garbage. Sure, can. take the pen, but. Papa, here. Give me Can that trash. That... Give me Papa. the trash. Oh, boy. Okay. You're going to throw everything no. away. No, no, no. no. Put that over here, there. give me the trash can. You're going to put it underneath the chair? Yeah. <laughs> take the pen out. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> Put the trash can in that there. Water. No, we can't get it. Okay, here you go. I'm trying to find something else you can get. Into. Give him no. some paper. No, I don't have any paper. Oh, oh yeah. Here. Let me see. Can I see? Yeah, okay. Nassim knows how to write now. He scribbles. Here. <laughs> Don't stab yourself now, please. Here, hold it closer towards the bottom. Here, right here. <laughs> here. Right here. Right here. Let me see. Oh, let him do it the other way. Like if he has. Oh, He's boy. Ooh, look, Papa. Look. He just gets so excited. 
so Look at weird. his fingers, though. <laughs> the way he places his fingers. Is so, look, at, look at how he does it. <laughs> an extra piece of bone that started to grow like that and what happens is the connective tissue mm -hmm. turns to bone. The connective tissue instead of just tearing away, instead of it just tearing away, mm -hmm. it pulls and pulls and pulls and lays down calcium and makes it hard. Oh, wow. So that's what's happened to you because it's been out on the person. Like what percentage do you see a person like have this happen or is it really not common? It has a name. It's called posterior ponticus and okay. in about 5% of people. Wow. Yeah, but because they have that bone out of alignment so significantly that that tissue strained. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I used to have two scol two curvatures in my spine that were labeled scoliosis. Mm -hmm. When I was younger, under chiropractic care, I no longer have it. You're young, you can definitely see changes in it. Yeah. The most important part, even if your body chooses to maintain somewhat of a curve in there because you've compensated so long to have it in there, is that each individual joint and segment is moving properly, not having pressure on the nerves that branch out to your organs. Mm -hmm. That makes sense? Yeah. yeah. So my goal is not for you to have a pretty spine, to make sure you have proper communication through every right. segment with, with, having, with having proper nerve flow, that's okay. With having proper nerve flow, should your body choose to correct those curvatures, we, we would celebrate that too with you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Looking at the same area from the side, we don't see degenerative changes in here, which is good. So okay. it hasn't been like that for longer than 10 years. Okay. We do see that there's not the best curvature here. Yeah. We remove that. But when you're having extra curvatures from the front, it's rare for you to also have that curvature and the proper curve going the other way. Okay. So it, it makes sense why we're seeing that, but over time we also like to see change. Okay. Looking at the pelvis from the front. Oh, goodness. This is your right hip on this side. It is lower than your left Yes. Hip. You Didn't should, I should say it, that? It, yeah. I, I can feel it. <laughs> I mean, it's not inches, but you're walking. But I can feel it. it. Every single day. Yeah. I can feel it. wear and tear on your low back, on your hip joints, your knees, your ankles. If you lift your hip up, you're going to know your are Yep. Mm -hmm. and your feet, you're moving differently. Yep. And then these are just the bones that you feel when you touch your back. They're rotating inward. So that those are areas that we will be making adjustments to. Ooh. Okay. So just talking about it thing. makes my back hurt. <laughs> it's so the funny. It's like, oh, no, no. Like, it's talking, it's like, about, looking I'm at, like, what so. it actually looks like. It's like, oh, gosh. <laughs> so we are back at home. Oh, yeah. Yes, I have lots of cleaning to do. But as you guys could see, my back is pretty messed up. Which, I mean, even sitting like this right now, I'm like, oh my gosh, I shouldn't be doing this. But you know what? But it's comfortable, huh? It's so comfortable. <laughs> oh, it's it so bad. be comfortable when you get cracked up. Yeah, but it's so bad. And I'm glad that Amai got to see how bad my back was. Yeah, but your back look trashy. It does look pretty trashy. Mm. Yeah, so, gonna try to fix that. I wonder what my back look like. Is that your breath? Probably. Yes. <laughs> All that curry and just. And back curvature. And just food. Ooh, well, my maybe, face actually. Maybe that'll be fixed too when you get your back breath. My breath? Yeah. Oh. Whatever. And Hopefully. Anyways, um, what was I about to even say? Well, I'm about to make these drunken noodles. What'd you get this to me for? He wants you to open it. That's what he's trying to tell you. Well, I'm not going to do that, buddy. <laughs> Look at that team. He's telling Amai to open this little bag. It has like nail clippers and stuff. <laughs> he, just, he just sees his face on camera. He just go crazy. Yeah, he does. Look. Me. <laughs> he done just lost track of what he was doing because he just, That's he's camera, like, oh, baby. I'm just so cute. God. <laughs> Which I got to agree. I mean, he's just so cute. Oh, we, we, uh, we, um. You asked me if I got something to say and cut me off. Oh, what do you have to say? Oh, nothing. It was going to be some foolishness anyway. Never mind. Go ahead. Well, I signed, well, I put Nassim on the wait list for speech, which is a three-month wait list. So that's exciting. Mm -hmm. But we'll probably try to start. So, um, you guys probably know that he gets, like, I don't even know what to call it. He has, like, a meeting assessment. every, yeah, he basically gets, like, a weekly assessment. Um, he hasn't, we haven't done any therapy with him thus far. No PT, no OT, no 
speech yet. Um, we don't think he needs, <clears throat> we don't think he currently needs PT or OT, but I think that, um, speech would be very, very beneficial. So we're going to see if we can switch those weekly, um, appointments from just assessments to actually getting, um, speech therapy, which Ahmad would be happy about. Yes. Um, and then when the three months comes up and it's, you know, our time rolls around for the wait list, then we will move for, forward with that. But, um, I don't know if we shared his, like how his speech assessment went. He got it about a month ago, month and a half ago, something like that. Yeah. And he did really well. He scored a 78 average. And so that puts him at like it's like a, a C plus. It's like a mild impairment. So his delay for speech is not like too bad, which is good. We're happy about that. So mm -hmm. with speech therapy, we feel like um, we can just improve that, and he'll be good to go. True. Um, yeah. Oh, so yeah, his score is 78. And the start of the normal range, like the typical normal whatever, is um, 85. So, yeah, he's not he's not um, too far off, which is amazing, cause he's just a smarty pants. Yep. And also, um, so with Down syndrome, like I think that it should be clear that. Um, Every child is affected differently. So, yeah, like, we set up things for Nassim. We encourage him to do things. But a lot of it just has to do with him and, like, the effects that the extra chromosome has had to him hasn't really been too drastic thus far. It hasn't really held him back from you know meeting his milestones really um maybe just a little bit and when i say a little bit i mean like by just a couple months um which is not too bad so we are thankful and grateful for that and you know we hold no limitations for him and just try to um I don't know, provide him with the optimal environment for him and great opportunities and yeah, just to have him just be a kid and just explore his full potential. But I feel like I'm just rambling. <laughs> so yeah, but sometimes it's just so good to ramble. I need to have like a ramble day. Can I get a ramble day? I want to put that in. I want to request that. I need a day where I can just tell y'all all of my thoughts. Because really, I can't get it all out in a vlog. It's just not possible. I need the whole 10 minutes to be just me rambling. Y'all let me know if y'all care about my rambles, my thoughts, or not. If y'all care... Then I might just try to slide a ramble day in because, yeah, that will just make me feel good. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. Nassim Poo Poo. Look. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. See you in the next vlog. <laughs> oh. See you in the next vlog. Turn on the TV. <laughs> That's how that's how Nassim turns on the TV. Apparently, when people turn on the TV, they do like this. They do like this because that's what he does with the remote every time. He is so funny. Okay, Nassim. Bye-bye. Dare to be different because what makes you different makes you beautiful. See y'all later. Bye.